sample problem. Passing chlorine gas through molten sulfur produces liquid disulfur dichloride. How many molecules of chlorine react to produce 50.0 grams of disulfur dichloride? So, step one, always start off with your balanced equation. Okay, so what are, is the information that we're given? So, we're given uh, 50.0 grams of disulfur dichloride. 50.0 grams. We are being asked to find how many molecules of chlorine. Okay, that's what we're trying to find, which means the molten sulfur is not needed. So, we're going to list okay, what we're given. Okay, so we have moles, molecules, and we always list what's the, uh, the unknown that we're, we're trying to find first. So chlorine, okay, X moles, because that's ultimately what we're going to try to find. And we have disulfur dichloride, and we have 50 grams. But we cannot put that because we want to find the number of moles, because we want to find the mole ratio. How many molecules, so we're going to jump to the next step. How many molecules of chlorine? Well, we have one molecule of chlorine to one molecule of um, uh, disulfur dichloride. So we're going to have now the mass, which is 50.0 grams of sulfur, and we're going to divide that by the molar mass of sulfur, right? And we get the following 135 grams per mole. So grams cancel out, and we are left with. 0 0.370 moles of uh, disulfur dichloride. So, as we said before, we separate these two with our equal sign, and we're given X moles of chlorine divided by 0 0.370 equals 1 over 1. So, because we have 1 over 1, when we bring this over, X is equal to 0 0.370 and it's moles okay, of S2Cl2. Okay, so when we cancel this out, ultimately, whatever the moles of disulfur dichloride we have, we are gonna have okay, the number of moles of chlorine is going to be the same. Okay. So now we have the number of moles, but we don't want the number of moles. It's asking us for how many molecules. But for us to be able to do that, we know that one mole okay, of Cl2 is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 uh, molecules. Right. So how do we use that? Well, we have moles up at the top. We have molecules here at the bottom. But we have moles here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, let's use a different color, 0 0.370 moles okay, times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. Molecules per one mole of substance. So the moles cancel out and I'm left with 2.22 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules, molecules of chlorine gas. Yes. 